Hey guys, Havasu Lou out in beautiful Lake Havasu. Hey, we're out here checking out this brand new four bedroom pool home in Havasu Foothills Estates. Hang out and check it out too. And I'll talk to you in a minute. All right guys, this is 6402 Cali Esteban up in the Arroyos at Havasu Foothills Estates. It's right pretty much at the end almost. I mean, they're just building like crazy in here. Very desirable area up at the top of town. This one just had a certificate of occupancy, which is called a CEO, which means it can now be sold, occupied, and closed escrow. So the rest of the street still has all the lots for sale, but there will be new construction. They have underground utilities here, and this is an HOA. So this does have like curb and gutters up here. This one was just listed for 1.6. Nice corner lot, lake shot from down the street. Real nice paver driveway set up. It's a double RV garage home. So it's very popular up here, especially with like locals because you cannot do vacation rentals up here. It's 30 day minimum. So uh, it's actually very popular with people that actually live here. Let's go on and check this thing out. All right guys, this is a four bedroom, four bath pool home. Again, was just completed and got the certificate of occupancy so somebody can buy it and actually close escrow now. 2,640 square feet. Big open living area, tall vaulted ceilings, can lights everywhere. So this is a split floor plan. You have a wet bar with tile to the wall under cabinet lighting, eight foot four hinged interior doors, including uh, two double sliders out to the backyard and one normal slider. Dual uh, skylights, a big tiled electric fireplace. So you have a really nice kitchen with quartz top waterfall edges, under cabinet lighting, has a gas range, cool lights as well as can lights, stainless appliances, RO at your sink. They also have two of these little pop-up phone charger type things, which is pretty cool. Really like the uh, quartz that they used. And of course, if you have seen this home before, uh, you know, these are Kelco homes that I've shot a few times. You will know about the hidden butler pantry. So what looks like a door is actually kind of a hidden pantry. It's kind of cool, nice setup. Some of them are really elaborate. All right, let's check out the master. So, the rear of the house, to the right here, you have a little coat closet. And then this is your master suite. Slider out to the backyard pool area. Barn door into the master bath. Of course, your slider out to the pool area. So you have a cool master bath, same quartz tops. Huge, huge walk-in shower with glass, double glass doors and a soaker tub. Tile to the ceiling. Three uh, shower heads, including a rain head. We see uh, this tub in shower thing from time to time. It's kind of different. This is a huge shower, so if you didn't need to use it, you wouldn't even need it, I guess. You have your water closet with its own door and you have your walk-in closet. It also has a little granite dresser type setup. All right, let's go check out the other side of the house. 
So at the other side of the house, you have the other bedrooms. The first room you run into is a guest bath that does have dual sinks, dual mirrors, tiled to ceiling, shower, tub combo. Across the hall, you have guest bedroom number one. It's a kind of a cool setup, even though it's small because it does have a slider out to the backyard pool area. Eight foot double door slider on your closet. And then right next to it, same side of the house, you have another uh, guest bedroom, the front corner of the house. All the walls and ceilings are all the trowel down texture, four inch baseboards. So the fourth bedroom is another master suite, it's kind of a junior master suite. Can light ceiling fans. There are uh, fire sprinklers in these properties. Eight foot double slider for your closet. And your little junior master bath, same court, same cabinets. A glass slider to the shower, walk-in shower, tile to the ceiling. All right, let's go check out the garage and see what's up with the pool. All right, so it's all about the garage, of course. You have a cool garage setup. You have a two-car side that's 26 feet deep, eight-foot doors, 19 feet wide at the door opening. So you have a little utility sink, and then all your water heater, reverse osmosis, and water softener is in this closet behind doors. So on the other side, you have a double wide 60 foot RV garage with a 14 foot door, full hookups, two mini split AC units, have a hose bin, 50 amp clean out, of course, and another door off the kitchen for ingress egress. You have your air conditioner, air handler out here as well. Side door. All right, since we went out the other door, this is back over off the kitchen by the master. There is another guest bath over here. And then you have your indoor laundry. And you have the second door at the rear of the RV garage. So we're heading out the double slider doors out to the backyard pool area. Really nice mountain views from back here. Sunset pavers for your decking. You have a real nice piece of travertine coping, a spillover kind of negative edge spa, which is very cool. Quartz finish on the pool, it looks like. I like the uh, tile, nice little bluish, nice and soft. You have a beach entry. Little margarita table with an umbrella holder. With a little bit of landscaping back here. Some of these same type of builds have a casita back here as well. Here's your pool equipment, it's all new. It's on propane for the heater. Looks like you have some automation. So you have your propane tank. All your condensers for your mini splits and AC are down this way as well. You do have a little bit of a peek -a view of the lake. Really nice mountain sunset views. So this one also has a view deck. Guess we have to go up there and check that out as well, right? There's your little sit-at bar. Let's go up here and check this thing out. So this is actually a pretty cool view deck. Put railings on it and tile floors. There's also a hose bit up here, power, down lights. Now you can see a pretty cool lake view. Let me uh, zoom in so you can see what it looks like here real quick. 
So here's your panoramic view from the view deck. So you can see a lot of the lake from up here. There's the island. Cupcake Mountain. So they're just building like crazy up in here. Lots of lots. This is kind of the end of it, but they keep going up. So we'll see what happens. Got a new build, a couple new builds going up over here. Like a real nice one going up over there. A couple different ones. That guy's view deck over there, if you can see that. All right, guys, have a see Lou back again with you. Hope you enjoyed the quick little video of the walkthrough over here on Cali Esteban. Again, this one was just listed and just had its CO 1.6 in the foothills. I'll put a direct link to the listing detail page right below this video. So you guys get all the original listing pictures, current price and availability. Of course, if you guys have any questions at all, always feel free to reach out to me. All my contact information is right below this video. You guys have a great day and I'll talk to you soon.